I'm Jonathan Kantrowitz. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Q. I'm going to be talking to you today about a wide variety of our CD-ROM programs. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to discuss everything, but I'm going to try to show you the best points about a lot of the programs, and I want you to understand that there are a lot more programs, and most of them have the same features we'll be discussing today. Helping me out will be Helen Taylor, our Director of CD-ROM Development, and you may hear her voice from time to time as well. I hope you'll enjoy this presentation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us at Q. We'll be happy to give you more information. Thank you. Okay, we're going to be covering a wide variety of subject areas today. A lot of different curriculum areas and a lot of different grade levels. We're starting with some of our most elementary software. Curious George is unique among our products because it's the only one that features a nationally recognized character. Curious George, of course, is uh, a very beloved character and the book Curious George Learns the Alphabet is one of the best known books in any elementary library. We've put the entire book on CD-ROM, added great animation, and a lot of supplemental activities to make this CD-ROM a very rich experience, a very rich learning experience for children uh, in kindergarten and first grade and even preschool kids. You'll see a lot of great animation throughout this program. As in all of our programs, it's designed to be very interactive. The kid does not just sit in front of the screen and watch things happen. Uh, in every case, the child has to do something. In this case, in order to see the animation, the child has to uh, hit the letter B on the keyboard. And then uh, they'll get uh, a reward. They get to see Curious George come across the screen. Curious George and all of our elementary programs also have a feature in which uh, the child can write and illustrate their own stories. Alice in Wonderland is a much higher level program. Uh, it is designed to encourage reading of the classic original text and to teach reading comprehension. It is very rich in animations, both animations that occur while the student is reading and clickables in which the student has to react, uh, find locations on the picture and interact uh, by clicking on the picture. Both have value in making the presentation. We've picked a few random screens here, uh, but the uh, CD-ROM itself contains the entire story both in text, uh, in audio, and in pictures with uh, extensive, beautiful animation. As with all our programs, it's designed to teach reading comprehension. There are reading comprehension programs, and there is a book, uh, the entire book available in text form to read or print out. We have a whole series of literature programs uh, which have uh, the full text with illustrations and narration and also have Easy Readers, an Easy Reader version. Black Beauty is an example of that. It's, only one, it's one of six titles already developed. We have uh, several more in the works in the same genre. All of these will be available, as are most of our pro programs on both Mac and Windows. Uh, we call this the comic book version. We're going to be changing that to easy reader version.
Even with the easy reader version, the full text is available to encourage the students to read the full text. And they can click off that text to see the full text. Next we're going to be looking at the full text version. Even the full text version with full narration has all the beautiful illustrations and each of these books is beautifully and extensively illustrated throughout the 40 or 50 or 70 chapters. There are uh, extensive illustrations. Now while, while you have the full text being presented, you can click on the illustration and get the highly dramatized version. This is to encourage students to both read the full text and enjoy the dramatized version. As with all our elementary titles, this has a write and illustrate your own uh, book feature as well to encourage even more creativity and interactivity among the students. Our next program has an enormous amount of content, as do all of our elementary programs, our short story collections have anywhere from 8 to 24 stories on them. Unlike uh, most of the products on the market, which typically only feature one story. Uh, each of our CD-ROMs uh, story collection has not only an enormous amount of content, but a lot of activities and a lot of animation. Uh, this one has eight stories, and you'll see some this absolutely marvelous yeah. animation. The the program is designed to encourage reading comprehension. Based on a book, and we did all of the audio in house, it's all original, our audio. Rufus leapt out of his son's bed and ran to tell his mother and father. But they were already running around. Now, in addition to the to very extensive yes. storyline, uh, there are a lot of other activities on this disc. Eight long stories. Uh, and then some creative activities and games. Well, one of the most unique creative activities that we've put on this is the movie maker, movie maker. where students get to please choose a story, uh, write and uh, create their own story animated one. story. There are five different uh, select groups of images they can use. Each of the five stories has six images in it and each of the images or illustrations is beautifully animated. The students can take the six uh, illustrations and use any number of them in their movie and use them in any order. We're going to put all six into a movie presentation. Uh, the student can then take each picture and write a description of what's happening or a story uh, for that picture, uh, anything they like of their own creation. We're just going to go through real quickly. They can put the uh, text anywhere in the uh, story they like. They can edit the text or rewrite it. Uh, and then they can preview to see uh, the action.
We're going to preview one here. You can see how extensive this animation is. Uh, it's uh, one of numerous animations, not only on this disc, but on many of our cd rom And you'll see, so you can see how beautiful the art is even uh, without the animation. And of course, with the animation, it makes it much richer and deeper. Uh, the animation is all part of the story. It's not uh, just a silly or meaningless animation. It's all to uh, further what's going on in the story. The next program that you're going to see features some very famous narrators, Ruby Dee and Ossie Davis. In fact, there are many famous actors and uh, authors appearing on QCD-ROM, and this is just one example of it. These are three stories, all each beautifully animated. Two of them take place in Harlem and one in Japan. And we're going to be focusing on jazz time, which takes place in uh, Harlem in the early 20th century. And it's the story of Fats Waller and how he became a famous musician. And this is Ruby Dee, who's narrated. Uh, there is a feature here which is very unusual that allows you to jump to any scene so that uh, students can go to an area that particularly interests them or where they left off and don't have to go through the whole story from the beginning. How are you? How's your mother? How's your sisters? How's your brother? In addition to the story, which is designed to encourage uh, reading comprehension, uh, there are activities on each of our discs, and we have a very unusual activity here. Allows students to compose their own songs on a piano. Obviously, it's tied in thematically with Jazz Time and Fats Waller, and it's a wonderful game. Uh, and we're going to be composing music as you watch. The students can. Uh, around with this until they get a tune they like or even uh, copy a tune from somewhere and then uh, play it and they can control uh, various aspects of how they hear it uh, played back to them. Next, we're going to be going into a uh, program that is very rich in educational content. Has uh, eight or nine different learning activities built into the disc. Has a, a story to read. A wide variety of games. Over 200 words are taught in uh, several different ways. It's designed for kindergarten, first grade, and even preschoolers. And it's uh, very rich in content it, uh, and provides hours of activities and play and learning. It, it focuses on this 
a house scene, but within that scene, uh, the child can pick not only the different activities, but with, with each activity, the child picks which room of the house they want to focus on for that activity. Within the family room itself, the student can see the big picture or focus in uh, to see more detail on a smaller picture, smaller part of the picture. Uh, this is a reading comprehension activity. The student has to read what's in the box uh, and then uh, locate, the, once they read and understand the question, uh, locate the correct answer. If they click on anything else but the correct answer, there will not be any response. Uh, if the student gets frustrated, they can skip the question. Uh, there are activities in which the student has to indirect, navigate all around the house uh, pursuing uh, different objects or following uh, one of the different activities. There's a complete story on the disc. Uh, this story was created in the house, uh, as was all the sound and narration. A lot of the uh, voices you hear are children's voices. We uh, use children's voices extensively, all within the parameters of the child labor law. There are extensive animations throughout uh, Sally set up the ball screen. this disc. Uh, this is one of a series, Fun Around Town. It's also available. This is available on both Mac and Windows. Fun Around Town only on Mac for now. There's also a coloring book. The students can choose whatever color they like. And uh, coloring the image. Uh, they can obviously change the color as often as they want. And there are a lot of different pictures available to be colored in. We also have uh, a treasure hunt and a picture dictionary, and explore mode is probably the one that the, is the most game-like in that. The student has to uh, find different objects. The student just clicks on, our, on things and gets the animation. Not everything we do has educational value. Some of it's just for fun. But most of it is designed to be educational. This is just a little uh, relaxing activity. And you do get these. Uh, Surprise appearances by cartoon characters uh, throughout this video. Uh, I'm sorry, throughout this video. Uh, we're now going into a different kind of elementary program. It's uh, a science program. It is designed to appeal to students in grades two to five. It's very rich in content, but it has uh, the fun illustrations as well. The rollovers describing each animal. Uh, when you uh, click on an animal, you get more information about that animal. It's uh, 
very deep in that you can keep clicking and getting more and more information so that it will appeal to older students as well as younger students. Which includes all males and dolphins. Males are superbly adapted to a life. You can see it's quite deep. Uh, there are also videos uh, for most of the animals. You can see them in action. You can often hear the sound they make. And uh, there's an extensive library of pictures as well. As with most of our CD ROM, there are extensive uh, material for the teacher, the suggestions as to uh, how to use the material uh, and uh, as well as additional materials teacher may want to use. Oceans. The world's oceans are regarded as one biome because, although very large, of Nature is another elementary science program, Introduction to Science. As with World of Nature and with many of our other science programs, there's extensive use of video, extensive interactivity, uh, real depth of material, and an enormous amount of content. You can see uh, on the main menu there are all these different uh, items which can be chosen, and each one of them has an uh, extensive amount of material available on the sub-menu. Q prides itself in all areas on having more content on its CD-ROM than anybody else. For us, content and uh, quality are the most important considerations. most intriguing parts of Introduction to Science is the uh, wide variety of experiments that are available uh, for the students. You can see that there were an enormous amount of experiments available. This is just one of uh, over a dozen experiments. In the experiment, it's a very interactive experience that the student has to actually go through each step and uh, move the right part of the experiment to the right place. If the student is having trouble figuring out what to do next, the student can get a hint. The arrows will show what has to be moved and where. If the student can't figure out how to do it at all, the computer will do it for him. The purpose is to make this a real interactive educational experience for the student, they're certainly going to remember this much more vividly than they would remember just reading about it, an experiment. There are numerous diagrams. Uh, there's a glossary, an index. Uh, most of our programs uh, feature uh, both a glossary and an index to uh, provide the students with more background information on de word definitions and also a different way to explore any CD-ROM uh, through the index. They can look up any particular topic they're interested in. We're going to be moving up in grade level a bit, learning about insects 
is designed uh, for a middle school student, maybe even up into high school. As with all of our discs, has uh, an enormous amount of content, beautiful video, a great interactivity, and, and lots of supplemental activities, the glossary, the index, diagrams, a collection of photos. Uh, but the heart of it is uh, a large uh, amount of content and much of it in video format to give you a real Nature's feel world is big and wondrous. for uh, what insects look like and how they move. The next program uh, you'll see not only is deep in content and uh, features spectacular video as well as lots of beautiful diagrams, uh, but it's unique in uh, its non-linear qualities. Within each subject area, uh, the student is always given a variety of paths to follow anything that seems interesting. As you can see, the student can choose any one of three different topics to follow. And wherever they go, there are always additional topics. Because going in a non-linear fashion can get a little confusing, we do provide a history uh, so the student can see where they've been and can go back uh, if they want to explore another avenue and see what the other options were. This encourages the students to explore on their own and gets them much more involved uh, than the typical linear presentation uh, that so many CD rounds on the market have today. Just, just give you some idea of how, uh, how much content there is. Okay, we're going to be switching now from uh, science to literature. Frontier the Spirit is a CD-ROM that covers 19th century American literature. It's a very ambitious CD-ROM. It provides an enormous library of material, uh, text material, audio material, uh, and uh, some video and some pictures as well. There are uh, works available by each and every one of these authors listed here. Not only the traditional white male authors, but a, a wide variety of women and African American authors as well. Within each author, uh, there is a, a biography uh, a uh, overview which puts the author in context with other authors of the time, a complete library of works on this by that author, uh, a way to bra branch to other authors, and a list of titles of, by that author. Uh, some of the authors have uh, 
works of literary criticism, either by them or about them. Uh, and some authors uh, have videos as well. And we'll see one uh, of the videos on the CD-ROM. This video features uh, a Rose Walden. Texts on the CD-ROM are available to teachers or students. Uh, they can be transferred to word processing files and printed out. Uh, they can be searched and edited in any way the student wants or the teacher. So it's an enormous resource and library. In addition to the text, there's an enormous amount of audio material, both uh, narrations of some of the stories, um, written by the 19th century American authors uh, and some poetry, even entire novels. The entire novel of Moby Dick is available. Uh, there are also uh, very extensive uh, analysis of many of the authors. Each of these are very deep and lasts for half an hour. It's our expectation that someday CD-ROM will be replacing uh, disk-based software, supplemental material, video, and even textbooks. And we think this is a prime candidate. Eventually, in English classes, in American literature classes, this CD-ROM will be one of the first uh, to take the place of the traditional textbook. There's an entire library on this one CD line. From literature, we're going to go to history. African American history is our best seller. It's gotten so many excellent reviews that we've start to lose track of them. It's one program that everybody who looks at admires and respects. It covers an enormously important topic with a great uh, deal of uh, careful attention. There's a huge amount of content. Uh, you have the main presentation, which is a very comprehensive presentation with uh, spectacular illustrations, music, and narration throughout. And I'm just going to let you uh, watch and listen to a little bit of it. Well, 
violence against blacks became. At the time of this violence at home, more than 350,000 black men were serving in the United States Armed Forces, winning medals and giving their share of As you can see, the both the menu and the text can be clicked on and off. We always provide the text on screen to be read in addition to the audio. We feel this is a real reinforcement. It's a way to absorb the content, both uh, through the images, through the sound, and through the words uh, as you read them. Now, in addition to the main presentation, there's a huge amount of supplemental material, uh, both uh, audio and images. Uh, we have an enormous library of biographies. You see just one of uh, a score of categories of the biographies here. In addition to the extensive collection of biographies, we have uh, readings by uh, authors. Uh, just uh, for Langston News alone, we have a huge library of poetry. Song for a Dark Girl. Way down the... And... As with all of our history CD-ROMs, in addition to the multimedia content, there is, on every CD-ROM, an extensive library of text material, supplementary text material. Uh, we also have here a discussion of Supreme Court decisions. The Brown, supplemental Board of Education, the segregation cases, 1954. These are the facts. During the turbulent Reconstruction period following the Civil War, the Southern states in developing their public school systems. The supplemental material can all be uh, printed out and be saved through a word processor. Uh, on all of our history CDs. So uh, there's a very extensive library of material available, research material, and teachers have been particularly appreciative of this feature uh, because they realize they're getting an entire library on each CD. History and Culture of France is one of a very extensive collection of geography and history titles that we've done that feature not only an extensive amount of content, but also a variety of languages. History and culture of Spain has English, elementary, Spanish, and advanced Spanish. History and culture of Africa has English and Spanish. Our Let's Visit titles have either English and Spanish or English and French. And of course, History and Culture of France is available in both English and French. Uh, these programs are designed to appeal to both history classes and foreign language classes. Given the world many firsts. Some of which are still popular and were even made into movies. As you can see, there's an extensive survey of French architecture. We'll look at one picture. You can have the text on. 
with a description of the material or a text off so you can see the whole picture. As with all of our history CDs, there's extensive library of French literature and history, a com complete history of France available on the CD-ROM, uh, all of which is accessible uh, for printing and copying. This is an enormous library of audio material. It's a great way to learn and practice French. Uh, and students of all ages can appreciate uh, songs. Uh, research has shown that the easiest thing to learn in a foreign language is a song. French art is presented in either French or English, as was the main presentation. An extensive survey of French art. And even while you're getting it in French, you can get the English translation. Our last presentation today is going to be an absolutely spectacular CD ROM, a one that uh, makes uh, the best use of video of any product on the market today. It has the most extensive uh, library of background material uh, and has a huge amount of uh, video content in the main presentation. As you can see, there are three main topics. Each of one has an enormous amount of material in it. Uh, and each of these are extensive video presentations. We're going to be just looking at one of almost uh, 20 subtopics, and we won't even be uh, seeing that entire presentation. The period of persecution and decline for labor. Organizers came to be thought of as un American, a radical force which should be rounded up. Zealous officials tried to run out the communists and anarchists that they now call labor organizers. Many were seized and deported. But business was booming. Cords were coming up. It all ended. The worst depression in American history began. I don't want... As you can see, this is a far more compelling presentation of history than any textbook could possibly imagine. The uh, immediacy and the drama of the video, supplemented by the narration and the text on screen, are a powerful learning tool uh, that uh, we're already starting to get rave reviews for and that history teachers uh, are saying are like nothing they've ever seen. 
and you can see just uh, some of the uh, supplemental material we have, uh, tech space. There's also an extensive uh, library of pictures, all of which are available for uh, teacher to use uh, for whatever uh, presentations they want, uh, and students to incorporate in papers if they so desire. As always, with every one of our history and science programs, there's an index which allows students to explore uh, any topic, uh, search for any topic they may be interested in, and uh, provides another method of access into the very deep and rich content.